All she collected was a three to ten stretch in Tehachapi. Perhaps it was worth it to her. In the woman's prison at Tehachapi. Not at Tehachapi in 20 years. Women's reformatory at Tehachapi. Is to be confined in the California Institution for Women at Tehachapi. Three to ten stretch in Tehachapi. I spent a couple decades living in the charming high desert community of Tehachapi, California, nestled in the foothills of the Sierras. There's a bit of a time capsule feel about the town, but you might wonder why it is mentioned by name in 1941's The Maltese Falcon and Double Indemnity from 1944, Nocturne from 1946, The Postman Always Rings Twice from the same year, Out of the Past, The Hunted, Criss Cross, The Story of Mary X, all of which are classics of the genre of film noir. But it's not some salacious crime of murder and mayhem enacted in the town of Tehachapi that's responsible for it being named in so many crime dramas, but rather this fairly quaint cluster of buildings. For this is the California Institution for Women and operated between 1933 and 1952, which coincides with the rise of film noir and the sort of ascendancy of the femme fatale as a central figure in cinema. So if it were only the incidental matter of repeating the name of a women's prison, all this would be little more than trivia. And yet, in the context of film noir, where the specter of crime is always in a slow dance around the human drama of love and desire, or simply the rage for more meaning or more power in one's own life, it's not surprising these scenes where Tehachapi is mentioned occur at a kind of narrative or psychological climax in the film. Tehachapi takes on such a terminal quality and symbolism. Noir women facing the possibility of incarceration at Tehachapi might be femme fatales, but they're smart, layered, fascinating, even creative bunch. And so prison becomes not only fit punishment for crime, but an end game of something vital, like the poet Robert Browning said, the dangerous edge of things. Transgressive, yes, but in the sense of claiming something more, or perhaps even beautiful outside of societal conventions. From the very first instant I saw you, I knew. Well, if you get a good break, you'll be out of the hatchety in 20 years, and you can come back to me then. You can't get away from it, Molly. They're going to put you on ice. Right where I can lay my hands on you. You are sentenced to be confined in the California Institution for Women at the Hatchaby. Did Arthur explain how the blood got on the fan? No. Or how it got into his room? No. You know what happens to little girls who lie to their lawyers? In murder cases, they wind up in death row at San Quentin. Or if they happen to be nice looking like you, they might have a 50-50 chance of making the woman's prison at Tehachapi. Cooped up in a cell with no makeup, the drab routine. Stop! Death. I'm trying to get the truth. You have it! <laughs> was found shot. His wife said he was cleaning a gun and his stomach got in the way. All she collected was a three to ten stretch in the Hatchapi. Perhaps it was worth it to her. <laughs>